Hey guys, John P. here at CES 2012. I was walking through and I saw the blue microphone booth. I know they've got some new stuff. Let's go take a look. Welcome to Geek Beat. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. What a special treat. I was actually, I came into the booth here to talk to Hillary and I ran into Dave Corvassier, this my good friend. Be. This is the place to be, blue microphones. I mean, if you're a voiceover guy, <laughs> This that is, the place is true. To be. <laughs> that is true. Dave, if you don't know, is like the main man when it comes to Las Vegas news. He's been doing it forever. He is an institution in Las Vegas, and he is an amazing. He's got the most amazing voice. Did you hear that voice? Just say something. Uh, something. Uh, it's just amazing. John, it's it's great just to amazing. See you here. I figured you would be here because you're doing the circuit today, right? You're getting we everything. Are, we're running yeah. through. Hillary. Yes. Would you please give us a run? I know you've got some new microphones. I do. And we love blue, so we're 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 anxious. Give us the give us the rundown. All right, I can take you right over here and show you Tiki. Tiki. Tiki sounds interesting. Let's take a look. So this is Tiki. This is our new USB microphone and Tiki will mimic the intelligence of human hearing. And what that means is this mic has two capsules and it will find your voice, bring it to the forefront, and minimize everything else, just like in conversation. Your brain kind of ignores background noise and you listen to who's talking to you, and that's exactly what Tiki will do. Another cool feature is, sometimes you just wanna listen on the conference call. After a short amount of time, about three seconds, Tiki will soft mute, which means you can type, you can talk, you know, kind of talk over here in the background. As soon as you talk, it brings you right back into conversation. So my banging on the keyboard is not gonna, it's not gonna come through. It, it, it knows the difference between that and my voice. Absolutely, that is, it. the voodoo that we put inside of Tiki will know that your computer fan, your keyboard typing, cartoons in the background, that's not part of the conversation, but your voice is. We love that voodoo that you do so well. <laughs> How much is this gonna be and when's it gonna be available? Um, it's $59, it'll be available this spring. But also another option, just to let you know, if you don't want all that voodoo, there's a button right here on the end. Turn off the voodoo? Turn off the voodoo and you have natural recording mode for your guitars, for any other kind of types of recording you want to do without all the voodoo. All right, I don't know, Dave, you could you could do some voodoo with that. I think this is a pretty good unit, but you ought to see this what's guy over, over here? here. Okay, what's Spark what do we got over here? Yeah. This is Spark Digital, and I'm not lying when I say this is the first studio grade iPad mic. Spark from Blue came out last year. It's a studio mic. It's been out for about a year, used in studios and professional recording. We've made it digital. So it will do 30 pin. It'll go into your iPad. It also comes with a cable to do USB. So you can get into your laptop, your desktop, or write and do mobile recording, a true mobile studio on your iPad. So if I buy it to use with my iPad, I'm not stuck with it on my iPad. I can use it on my Mac Pro or my PC or whatever as well. Absolutely. Okay. It will also do, um, it comes with a headphone, so you can do zero latency monitoring. It has volume, mute, and gain control. Another really cool feature for those of you um, who are new or experienced has a focus control. So when it's focus off, it will do bright, crisp, clear sound. Focus on is a little more direct, warm, and present. So if you're not quite sure what type of sound you want, you have two options. If you really know a lot about mics, it's just incredibly versatile. Well, Dave, you're a voice actor. I bet you could actually put that thing to use. Uh, I have been sent here by a number of voice actors in the community to come and check this out specifically because there's a lot of interest in being able to record on a remote unit like this, the iPad or the iPhone. And actually, there's another unit over here that you might want to take a look at, too, because it's even more mobile. Ah, well, let's go take a look. But before we do, let me take one minute to thank Ford for, for all of our coverage here at CES. Everyone hates parallel parking, right? But when you use the Ford Focus Active Park Assist, its ultrasonic sensors will find just the right spot and takes the stress out of parking the car. Woohoo! Pair the Active Park Assist with a rear view camera and the car practically parks itself. Thanks so much to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Okay, Hillary, we got one more. This is, now wait, this looks familiar. I think I have something like that in the office. Yes, so this is our Mikey Digital. This is the Mikey for the iPhone 4 and the iPad. And it's the same award-winning capsules you'll find in our in the previous Mikey, also in our Snowball and Yeti. Some cool new features. It looks very similar, but there's some new things. Um, when it's in the middle, so you have your three gain settings. In the middle, it will do automatic gain. So it'll do it for you. It will adjust. But if you're a student and you really need to pick up that professor at the front of the room, you can switch it on very sensitive gain. If you know you're going to be in the front seat of a concert and you don't want to overload the mic, you can turn down the gain. Another cool thing is you'll see it's blinking here. 
in our demo unit, it will flash to tell you when you're clipping. So if you get distortion in your audio, it will let you know immediately. You can change the levels, you can adjust, so you don't mess up your audio. All right, just, just so that everybody knows what we're talking about here, when we talk about clipping, what that means is the microphone is turned up too loud, and when, we, when I talk loud like this, it spikes and it cuts it off, and that's not good. You don't want that. But what is going on with this jack up here on the top of this thing? So some of you might know in our, in our previous Mikey that we had a line in, so you could put in other audio sources and mix and do your own type of, of, of mixes and line in. The cool thing about this is it's, it's a multi-source. So you can do mic in, so a lavalier mic, any type of, of other mic you want to feed through like into your... Like one of these. Like one of these. And it will do instrument in as well as line in. So you can put in your guitar, your keyboard, your... Uh, you name it. Wait a minute. I, I just had an idea. Okay, you're holding an iPhone which does video and this is an external mic and one of the big problems that people have with making quality video on a portable device is the audio. So are you saying that we could literally take the little wireless receiver for this handheld, plug it into this, and you could video me using my mic with this thing? Absolutely. It will the Mikey Mikey Digital defaults when you're in video function. Another cool thing, if you don't have your wireless mic, we've built it to go 260 degrees. So you can face the front, the audio captures in the front, and you're getting CD quality audio on your iPhone video, incredibly professional, straight from Mikey. That is very cool. And how much and where and when can I get this? I need one now. <laughs> we don't have them right now, but it'll be 99 out this spring, and you should be able to find them at wide retailers. Well, that's good stuff. Well, thank you for the update. Dave, thanks for joining us. Yeah. It's awesome to run into you here. You guys stay tuned for more continuing coverage here at CES, geekbeat.tv forward slash CES 2012.